Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably either seen already or heard of Captain Marvel, the newest big blockbuster Marvel movie. Now, I saw it and I really liked it. Some things I would have changed, but with this character who's going to be around for a while, she needs an awesome drink. And we saw a couple of recipes online, but a lot of them, to be frank, kind of sucked. So, we took a few variations, made a few twists of our own, and we bring to you the Captain Marvel cocktail. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we release a new video. And if you love our videos, tell your friends. And if you hate our videos, tell your enemies. And without any further ado, let's make a drink. To build the Captain Marvel, we're going to have two different glasses. Our glass that we're actually going to end up drinking out of, and our glass that we're going to integrate some of the ingredients into. So into your final glass, we're going to pour one ounce of blue curacao. Now this is going to create the lower blue layer, but we're going to need to dilute down our other ingredients so that it will layer on top. So into the separate mixing glass, we're going to add a quarter of an ounce of grenadine, one and a half ounces of Ciroc coconut vodka, and three ounces of soda water. And we're gonna give this a quick stir just to integrate everything together. Now the reason that I added so much ice into our final glass is because this is gonna help us layer it because with all this ice, it's gonna slow down the flow and should help us create a nice layer. Slowly pour our mixture over the top. And garnish with your finest cut pineapple star. And easy as that, you have the Captain Marvel cocktail. Well, this looks really great layered. All the flavors aren't yet integrated, so I'm gonna give it a quick stir, and yes, it's gonna make it kind of a purplish black color. But hey, at this point, it's less about what it looks like and more about what it tastes like. That is delicious. A lot of cocktails that have blue curacao ended up having a lot of other really sweet elements to them that are overpowering. I really like this with the coconut vodka because we get kind of a island tiki style flavor here without it being overly sweet because we're cutting down the sweetness with that soda water and using just a touch of grenadine along with that full ounce of the blue curacao. This is one of those drinks I could just sit by the pool and drink all day. So make one for yourself. Let us know what you think. Cheers for drinks made easy.